Hello, Leo. It's a Mama Got Tarot, and this is your November tarot card reading. Let's have a look and see what's going on with you guys this month. Themes coming up. Let's check them out. First theme is the ninth house. All right, so this is broadening, broadening your horizons, either spiritually, academically, or on a long journey. This is associated with Sagittarius. Uh, you know, you know they're, they're wise out here. They're trying things, they're learning things because they want to uncover the hidden mysteries of life and through firsthand experience. So you already know what time it is when it comes to that Sagittarius energy, the wisdom, they have it, the actual adventure energy, they have it. And so it, may, it might be quite the adventurous and knowledgeable month. Then we got the seventh house. You're going on an adventure, but you might be falling in love. But you might be meeting that person, that right person for that that missing piece so you can start that business. So, you know, it could be any type of partner. This area of your life is about long-term significant partners, romantic business, or family. And associated with Libra. So Sagittarius Libra in the mix. You could be dealing with one of those, especially since we're dealing with people now partnerships and finally we've got the 10th listen you're thriving out here <laughs> this month thriving hey what are you doing this month i'm going to paris what are you doing this month i'm cleaning my cat's litter box hey leo what are you doing this month oh i'm thriving i like that for you 10th house is associated with capricorn of course you know capricorn loves all that social status stuff rubbing elbows with the elites, getting going to the after party, the VIP party, all that stuff. All that exclusive stuff, that's right up Capricorn's alley. I guess this month is where you're at with that. You might even meet your partner at one of these. And this is just as a result of you being curious, inquisitive, going out there making connections, long-term connections, and ones that definitely result in some sort of status, some sort of achievement, some sort of recognition within your social circle within your community. So that's good. You're out there and you're loving everyone. Look at you. But that's your thing though. Isn't that your thing? You guys like to be out there. You're Mr. Mrs. Personality. So let's have a look at the tarot, see what else is coming up for your month, November. And we keep it cute here. Keep it cute. You know, no doom and destruction. Challenges, maybe, but no doom and destruction. Let's see what's going on with Leo this month. What's the most important thing to come up for Leo? L -l -l Leo. Okay. First card is judgment. Self reflection. That's good. That's good. And it's funny because I know this card is associated with Pluto, and Pluto is like, you know, death and rebirth and transformation and just kind of evolving into like a new person or new thing, a new chapter in your life. Um, but also this judgment card is just about looking at what you're doing and it's not working. Look at what you're doing that is working. Pat yourself on the back for what is working and be like, let's re let's re let's reallocate resources on what's not working. Let's cut it and let's try something else. Let's pivot. So that judgment card coming up first is very interesting. And then your next card is the Three of Pentacles. We see collaboration. So a lot of you doing self-reflection about people at work, your coworkers, the people around you that help you earn your money, um, anybody that you work with. If you like your situation, you're loving collaboration and maybe even want more of it. Judgment. Now we've got the High Priestess in reverse. This is ooh, your major arcana in the middle. You got a major arcana, a second one for the reading. And the high priestess is very psychic, very knowledgeable because they, this, I feel like the high priestess is like that Akashic, Akashic records personified, um, speaks to just your intuition, your inner knowing, all that psychic energy, but like also blueprints of life, things that are predetermined destiny and associated with cancer. Very, and then also very attractive. That, that's also the thing that attractive, that allure. But sometimes when this card is in reverse, that intel, that wisdom may be used for not sinister stuff, but just manipulative, like to, to one's own benefit. So let's, let's be weary. Okay, somebody you're attracted to. 
somebody you're you find somebody that is attractive using that attractiveness for a proposal maybe not necessarily a romantic relationship it could be a romantic relationship maybe it's like one of those where i use my business transactional connection to you or my proximity to you through business um to get closer to you to propose something romantic again seventh house partnership business and relationships we see the knight of cups we know that this person is actually taking actions that's taking actions that are deliberate and not stumbling across things and like oh by the way you gotta have your number they're like i plan to be here because i heard you were going and i want to take the time to introduce myself catch a vibe and then if the vibe was vibing then ask you out normal person normal person okay and then we have the queen of wands i love it very passionate very resourceful i feel like leos are queens of wands uh, the, the you know the feminine ones anyway because they have a lot of passion they have a lot of excitement to them they have a lot of like they got a good cadence to them you know they could sell things they make people feel special important um just with their voice and they're very resourceful too there's a where there's a will there's a way when it comes to you leos and that queen of wands is something it, it just represents that and it just shows why somebody would put a loving gesture towards you be enamored with you want a piece of you is because they're I guess excited by that by the way that you move you, the way that you generally carry and conduct yourself it's 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 very warm it's warm it feels warm it warms up the water that fire that warmth that heat so it just feels like a person who's very intuitive they could tell that you're a good person they could tell that you have passion they could tell there's something about you there's something in your energy that makes them feel excited or they at least acknowledge the excitement within you and, and they it makes them feel it, it fills their cup makes them want to do stuff for you makes them want to connect with you makes them want to be in your world so look at you you know with that 10th house you already knew you had that in you you already know that you have a mag uh, personal magnetism and a dynamic personality people that you may not even like might like you and you know that's just the way you are you just people you're like a you're like a light you're like a campfire and everybody else we're all moths we just want a piece of that we just want to Wait, wait, we don't have to like burn, burn up for that, but you know what I mean. So you guys are very wise about yourselves. Well, you, you should be. You know yourselves to some degree, I think, because you're, you're the sun. You have a pretty strong command on that sense of self um, more than a lot of other signs. So um, you do things for the thr thrill, for the excitement, uh, for the, the, what is it called? The good, not the good juju. I don't know. The good, 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 the invigoration no that's not the word but yeah it's looking good it's looking like a good month the collaboration i guess somebody at work might have a crush on you they might find you attractive but they might feel like it's the wrong place wrong time or you know they but they want to make a gesture somebody out there wants to make some sort of gesture to connect with you because they see you doing you and they love it there is this whole judgment thing. I think there's some layer to it that is like, well, is this really right? Is this really wrong? Should we be doing this? Should we not? I don't know. Maybe there's more I need to know. I'm worried about my status. I'm worried about how it looks. I'm worried about the optics. There's just levels to, I guess, what this connection is. This person could be a Sagittarius, a Libra, or a Capricorn. They could also be a Scorpio or a Cancer. So this person has a little bit of emotional energy to them. So they might be like, well, my heart is telling me yes. But my practical side is telling me, uh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't do that. But I think that this person, like, again, they recognize something in you, a fire. They recognize an allure of some sort, something mysterious that you know more than, etc. You know, they, but they feel some sort of attraction towards you. And I think that you might know that, or if you're attracted to them and it's like the reverse, they might know that they are attractive. And they know that you, they're kind of picking up on the hints. They, they're picking up what you're putting down. You know, they know. Um, but there is a proposal in here. There is some sort of offering of love and connection, um, some kindness, some loving. And it's, I, I, I mean, it being next to this passion, I feel like it goes well together. It could be an exciting time. It could be just, you know, somebody making you feel like you're somebody. Like you're recognized and they're hyping you up because it seems it's all very exciting. It's all very exciting. I want to get to know you. I want to know more about you. I want to have an adventure with you. I want to learn. I want to be in an experience with you and do stuff not just kind of sit there and and get a staph infection like i just want to connect with you build a partnership with you i like the reputation i like the optics i like ho the whole vibe of the it feels very completion like with that 10 feels like success 
um, with this connection. So that's interesting. I look at the collaboration and I go, is this somebody from work? Is it probably somebody that you're doing business with? It? Mm -hmm. So if you're getting the hunch that somebody's looking, get looking, when you catch them, you look over your shoulder, you, they have to look up. You're like, oh, I seen you. Look, I see what you look, I see what you're looking at. And they see what you're working with. And so, I mean, that's what November's about, making these connections. There are things that are unknown that are predetermined or destined connections that you'll make, people that you work with, people that you collaborate with. And, you know, it'll, I feel like it'll trigger that whole, like, oh, okay, I see. Judgment. I see how things kind of, karma just, like, wraps itself up on the cycles that I'm not paying attention to and starts a new one. Okay, okay. Okay. All right? So there it is. That is your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and if you have time, check out my Etsy shop for scented soy candles, home fragrances, and gemstones. And um, yeah, thank you for watching the video. Bye-bye.